الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله خير خلق محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ولا ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. So we today, inshallah, starting the explanation of Surah Al-Maida. We talked last week about the general thing about Surah Al-Maida, and we said that in the Surah, Allah sent this Surah for Nabi Sallam in Medina. And we can find a lot of the ayat, ahkam, and the rules about the halal and haram we can find in this surah. And also we said that the last ayat of the Quran al-Kareem, an important ayah, اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتدع عليكم نعمتي وأتدع لكم الإسلام دينا, you can find in this surah. So now here this surah is beautiful. When you started the ayat of the Quran al-Kareem in this surah, he's first talking about for the reminding the mu'min, the Muslim. I started with قوله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا أو في بالعقود. The most is meaning here talking about the believer, the the believer who is believing Allah سبحانه وتعالى is the person if he have it any contract he never will who is starting to break in the contract. So it's meaning that's part of the character and that's part of the trust you can trust somebody give with the contract is the first for the movement. Character, moment, adjective is the one part of this iman. Because Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if the munafiq is a wa'ad akhlaf, when he said something, he give you some contract, and he will, he say will do, he will not do. So one part of that one is the uhud. Uhud meaning when you have the contract between anybody. So now we say the contract is it two times. One between the human and the Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. When is coming in between the human and the Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Allah asked for us just only what we said with tongue. And he understand from the, our heart. If somebody said, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, and Muhammad Rasulullah is the contract he, between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we will apply all sharia rules for this person. We give him all right of Islam given. Because that's one right or no between them and Allah. Just only for, for us is enough. If somebody tell you, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, and Muhammad Rasulullah, until the, any sign you find that he's broken this, this contract, we should be accepted. We're not going to search in his heart. Because this contract between them, the Allah, no between me and you. For me and you, we have to apply what the Sharia is saying. So that's the point. But when it's coming between me and you, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, go for example, Surah Al-Baqarah, in the last of the ayat, and the big ayah of the Quran al-Kareem, talk about the, what? The contract within the business. You say, right. Give witness. Uh, take something, um, guarantor for you. All this, are, why? Because between me and you. But when it's coming between the Allah, we don't need to sign something. And you give something like that. Because he's the understand what's happening. And he's the, is the order for anything. That's coming to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he has said, Ya ladhin amanu awfu bil uqud. So that first advice is for the mu'min who is belief. It's meaning he's one of the adjectives of the mu'min. The character of the Ummin, one part of the Iman, and he's never broken. That's why, for example, we, now we, for the marriage, we have a lot of certificates, sign this, sign, sign there. And we'll lie about the, just on Islam, what's it? When they said, Zawajtuka, until Qabilto, finish. That's two words. It's the Uhud. You can't break him. No joking with this one. And two witnesses is enough. Finish. Doesn't matter what happened. So that's, be, that's be, people will accept this one. Before, when somebody said the word in Islamic culture, before Islam was similar, if somebody said something for you, his word was more stronger, you can trust him, than a lot of the sign or the contract or paper we're doing now today or a lot of things we're doing. Why? Because the moment he never lying. He never coming to be broke something. So here, Ya amanu awfu bil uqood. Uhillat lakum. Here took an expert. وحلت لكم بهيمة الأنعام إلا ما يطلع عليكم غير محل الصيد وأنتم حرم. دي الله سبحانه وتعالى إنك ده حلال for the human بهيمة الأنعام. the بهيمة الأنعام هي the animal you can eat him. so you mean not any type of the animal is the is allow for the person to eat. He should be eat something as Allah said, especially the food, the contour, what you want to eat is one part of our Sharia. That's why in Islam, we're looking, is it halal for me or is it haram? Especially the food, what we are eating from the animals, that's the, when animals come, we're talking about the halal and haram. Another one, Bahimah uh, Al-An'am, is the, is the animals, we slaughter for the, uh, uh, for Udhiyah. Cow, sheep, camel, 
or uh, this one is part is allowed. Who he can the um he want he want to have to have to have to have to have well, and you can leave him with you. But another one, for example, in mountain, and you can catch him. That's you have to go hunting. Hunting. That is different. That is not allowed to be udhiyah. Yeah. The what is the is is, is the, well this one you, you can you can use him. Okay. Illa ma tula alaykum ghayra muhill al-saydi wa antum hurum. And also the Allah Subhanahu wa Taala because about the two things, the place and the month and the sum of the ibadah. There's three things when it's come together and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to teach the mu'min, to, to explain for the mu'min, anything should be from you safe. What mean that? When the, somebody put to the ihram and he done the tension and go for the hajj, the sign of the ihram, what is that? You're putting different clothes. You're not putting something in your head and you're a special color. For example, we are using now white color. That means the white color, any color, the color is not, not issue, but we are usually using the ihram is white. Because the sunnah was using the white. Okay. So the person he put in the white uh, clothes uh, and no dresses like this one we throws is so now we are this peop, this person have a special cloud. Is a sign this is the muhrim who want to go for the for, for the hajj for the ihram. So now these signs show you not only for the human to be enough from your hand be safe, also anything around of you is not allowed to to be at uh, uh, Attach him. Attack him. Yeah. That's to go to the sharia. Like for example, we have to eat some food. But you can eat for the food, you can slow him, any the well one. No for the if you go in the desert and you're traveling, it's not allowed for you to kill any animals. So all this way when you start from the haram, put it the from the uh miqat until you go to the hajj and all when you come back, finish your hajj. Or, for the, or, or anything is not allowed for the mu'min, the Muslim, to, to hunting to anything. So subhanAllah, how much you showing the mu'min learning to be the person getting the benefit and everybody safe for his hand. Look, Nabi Sallallahu said, Al-Muslim man salim muslimuna miyadi wa lisan. It's only for the human, also no for any man, for animals is also similar. It, it's, in time it's not, allow, it's not allowed we kill the animals with all we want. But in this time, it's not allowed for the do because we in this sign you put it and you this clause showing you in the worship time. It's happening when drinking water is halal. Food is halal. But when you started your fasting, you couldn't. Not meaning only here. It's some part. Salat, when you're praying, is not allowed for you during the water <coughs> inside the salat or eat inside the salat. So the ibadah is like that. But the, the most thing is taking for the moment. They think it as halal and, and eating is halal, but which type of the food you can eat or which animal you can sort of for yourself, that's coming back to the shari. So anytime is different. So he must tell you one thing. What Allah giving the order. Yes or no. Do or don't do. No people. So meaning that's also the people they try to make something is halal, make him haram. And they writing for the people rules. Like now our human all, okay, we are in the parliament because a few of the people they are, we choose them. And what they're writing, we have to apply. No, ya In Islam, yes or no, or any rules is coming back to the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, for our life, for example, we, we have to be up, uh, all everybody apply, for example, uh, to, 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 accept, to respect this or accept the red line, green line you can move. And red line you have to stop. I don't know, all we have to be driving here in the right, left side to go and right side to come. So that's is the, is our, Allah also said for us. But what is coming for the ibadah and the worship that time is no for the people to say halal and haram. We're not saying for the road, halal and haram. Yeah, if you know, the halal and haram, this word is Islamic special word. We still, we have to, don't forget this culture. Allowed, not allowed, no, it's halal and haram, that's, that like the ibadah, like say subhanallah, astaghfirullah, la ilaha illallah, the word similar, the Islamic word is moment. When we say the moment, and we say the Muslim, and we say the kafir, and we say the mushrik, there is the Islamic sign. It's the sha'ira. Now I try a lot of people to change this one. Because we can't say, oh, why you say for some people is a kafir? Oh, it's kafir is bad, it's a strong word. No, ya akhi. That's the, our religion word, Allah uses this name. 
Why is it the kafir? We're using the kafir. Say the ahl kitab is the ahl kitab. Say the mushrik is the mushrik. Say is the, is, is, is the, is the, is the moment is the moment. And the Muslim is the Muslim. These, we can't say for the, for example, for the salat, I'm going for exercise. Well, we can't say that for the fasting, change his name and go, I, I have a diet. What is that, yakhi? Because that's changing the name, you change the meaning. What passing this name, that is the... It will tell you, now it's a lot of people, they are trying to try to change. By changing the, the word, we are saying in Arabic, mustalah. Terminology. They try to change the terminology of the anything to give different meaning of the people. Where an Arabic name is, don't want to pray, okay? In the Arabic language, the salat is a, is a dua. You know, when you have to go pray your hand and go five times, where is that? Look, in Arabic language, salat is when you're raising your hand, so it's up to you. Ask what you like. Is it dua? Salat is the Arabic language is dua. What do you want us? Why are you going here? You have to know. And the people, they are believing in the Quran. They said we are believing in the Quran. I tell you first. The Quran, the people, they said we are accept the Quran, not accept the Hadith, the Kafir. Is no Muslim. Doesn't matter he's coming and not coming praying. He's Kafir. Who is ignored, who is rejected the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Hadith, is ignored, is rejected one part of the Wahi. We said the Nabi Sallallahu word and the Quran is similar. So that's people try to change it. To change the, the terminology of the in, uh, 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 in Islamic Lee to something different. Okay, the, 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 the fasting, or just only we, we, it meaning don't eat. So we can have, uh, we have now, after the future, the fasting, yes, now they have a diet, they said we're fasting. They now is using this the fasting. Uh, today I was, see somebody is no Muslim, and said, I'm fasting 24 hours. What do you mean do you have fasting 24 hours? No, I, uh, I just only one meal a day, I'm not eating anything, just only one coffee. That's fasting. Oh, I'm so shocked. How are you? We are using the fasting is a special worship we doing the Muslim. How he said, I fasting. So tomorrow, next, slowly, slowly changing. That's what the Nabi Salaam said. And the Qiyamah time they're coming, people, they are changing the word name, the terminology of the, of the letters, and giving a different meaning. Make the alcohol, change his name. Change, change his name and something else is the halal. It's a juice. Uh, energy uh, drink. I don't know. What do you find? So that's, this is, a, is a one of the plan. Because when you change the name, the terminology of the name, you find in us now the feeling, what was behind of this word to pass for you, to understand that's history, that's feeling, all will go. So here Allah said, in Allah yahkum yurid, meaning the hukum is what is that? Is the order. Is only in the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hand. He can say what is the halal and what is the haram. And also the Muslim should be understand when I have to use the halal word and when I use the haram word is not his hand. Yeah. Okay, the thing is with second ayah is, 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 is told. So we'll try to be inshallah shortly. In finish and inshallah we'll continue for the next class. Ya ladina amanu, again repeat it. Ya ladina amanu, la tuhillu sha'ir Allah. You will stop here. Wala sha'ala haram. So again, Tell the mu'mineen who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, La tuhillu sha'ir Allah. And it's something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make him haram. The sha'ira is meaning the sign. For example, the hajj is one of the sha'ira. The slaughtering the animal in the Arul Abu Adha is the sha'ira for the Muslimin. The Kaaba is the sha'ira for the Muslimin. The Qibla is the sha'ira for us. Yeah? So uh, the Masjid is one sha'ira for the Muslimin. So anything is the sh show you the sign you are the Muslim. All this one means you should be respected. The Quran is sha'ira for the Muslimin. So anything like that is showing you the Muslim sign, it's for the Mu'mineen, that is meaning sha'ira. So the Mu'min should be respect all of this type of the, the, the sha'ir. And also the ahkam. The what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said for us, say the halal and haram is not allowed to person try to make the trick how I can to, to cheat and make the halal haram and the haram is uh, halal for ourselves. No, because if we can't cheat ourselves, but who can cheat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That's here. وَلَا لَا تُحِلُّ شَعِرَ اللَّهِ وَلَا شَعْلَ حَرَامِ That was the culture and that's time, شَعْلَ Haram. In the Jahil, the Arab, there was, for example, now we are in the Sha'ban, coming Ramadan, Shawwal, 
after that three months, the haram month is starting, the 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 so they was what doing? They want to fight with somebody with some another trip. Okay, now is Shaban. We change it. Now is Ramadan, so we can find. And after Ramadan, it will be Shaban. They were changing. They were they were changing. This type what that's the people who are playing with us, with 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 the, with the Shaira Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and Halal and Haram. Because the Allah said with one is the Halal and with one is 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 a, is a Haram. Now people here and this time we ask we are playing same game. Maybe now for the month, we prepare a lot of things different. Something is haram. We know this type of the business is haram. Or this type of the banking is haram. Or this type of the, of the company we work in is haram. But just only change his name. What is different? What is different if I done something, I know is a, is a haram. Yeah. And you change the name and make for yourself is the halal. So we done the same the jahiliya. So yes, he's given example for the for, for the month because that time was famous. People doing this one is meaning, and, and if anybody in this time done also changes the meaning of uh, terminology of the letters, also is, is not allowed to make the halal and haram. I think we have we shall stop. We'll continue shall, for next time uh, in the end of the ayat. Subhanakallah, bihamdika, nashadallah, safiruka, wa If you have any questions, inshallah.